So we took her to the vet, gave her some medicine. So she's starting to feel better, but a little tired. I'm gonna give them their last Advent treat for Christmas today. Um, but yesterday was a really good day. We did a lot of sightseeing in St. Augustine, as you saw. I um, went to the Castillos de San Marco. We went to a few different shops, went to the famous St. George Street, the Colonial Corner, all of that. And then we went to Meehan's Irish Pub for lunch. Then we came back later for what's called the Night of Lights in St. Augustine. They're pretty famous for that. They've made the National Geographic for Christmas lights. Murphy is ready for his treat, if you can't tell. And then we headed back. So now let's get dogs their treat. So I've got their little bag of Advent treats. So I'm just going to give each of them one of them because they technically have another. And we'll see how Molly's stomach does with that. This is the one from Trader Joe's. It's the same flavor that they've had this whole time. The salmon and sweet potato so this is what it looks like so they're each gonna get one and Murphy is not being very patient Oop, Molly's helping me all right so then I'm gonna split them in half give them each their halves and then give them another one I think that's the most excited I've seen Molly with food yeah good girl and then a little later, after I get some more computer work done and catch up on that, it's a little cold and rainy today. Come here, puppies. You want your last one? Nope. I think Molly's good with her half, so we'll give her the other half.
Hey guys it's been a little bit since i checked in with you guys it is now the day after christmas so this is our last full day so we're trying to see as much as possible it's also kind of a drizzly day but i just finished up at the saint augustine lighthouse and maritime museum so there's a lot of history there a lot of cool things going on I tried to film as much as I could, but since it is drizzly, I didn't want to ruin my camera. So hopefully you can get a good feel of what it looks like. It was really interesting to learn more about this specific lighthouse, because if you don't know, since I'm from Sanibel, we also have a lighthouse. It was interesting to hear the differences between lighthouses on the East Coast versus the Gulf Coast. So that was pretty cool as well. So I will take you along as we go on some more adventures today. Hi you guys, it's been a few days now since I've been back from St. Augustine back to my home in Sanibel, Florida, but I wanted to show you the things that I got. It was also Christmas time as I explained, so a lot of these are Christmas presents, so I wanted to show you all of that. The first items that I wanted to show you are things that I picked up from the gift shop within the Lighthouse Museum. So the first thing that I got, which I'm really excited about, is the Florida Lighthouse Trail book. So Sandbell also has a lighthouse and I'm very interested in lighthouses. So one of my goals is to, at some point, to check off my list is to go to every lighthouse in the state of Florida. Hopefully you'll definitely see some more content with me traveling and seeing these different lighthouses. But I'm excited to read more about them and their history before getting there. The next item that I picked up was of course a t-shirt. I love t-shirts. On the front it has a St. Augustine lighthouse. And then on the back is the Florida Lighthouses, and I believe these are the ones, or at least some of them, on the east coast of Florida. So the next items that I bought were from the Irish Gift Shop. So that is in the historic downtown part of St. Augustine. It's a street off of St. George Street, if you're familiar with that area. So if you don't know by my name, I am Irish. My grandparents are Irish immigrants. I have family that are dual citizens here in the US and over in Ireland. So I decided to pick up some things for my new home. And today, before filming this video, I did close on my home. So I'm gonna not be displaced anymore since Hurricane Ian. I'm gonna have my own home. So I'm really excited about that. And most of this is for that. So the first item that I picked up was a St. Bridget's cross. If you are familiar with St. Bridget, she's one of the patron saints for Ireland. And many Irish have a Bridget's cross hanging in their home with the um, dried out reeds. So I used to have one of these in my old home. It did survive, but then when I packed things up for my old house after the hurricane, um, it kind of unraveled and came apart. So I got a new one. The next couple of items that I got are what's called Bleak China. If you're not familiar, it is kind of a fine china that is made in Ireland. It's made in Galway and it's called Bleak. And so I do have a few other items of Bleak China that were handed down to me. They were my grandmother's and the items, thankfully, those did survive Hurricane Ian. They were in a very high shelf, so they were not touched. So I still have those and I Remember from that experience, I came by boat to pick up a few items and that included a few things that were bleak for my grandmother. So that's really special to me. I'll always remember that. Having to go by boat back to the island when we couldn't get there by car, going over the bridge because the bridge was broken down in five different places so you could not go over. So yeah, lots of memories there, but I'm excited to expand my bleak collection. So the first item that I got um, I will show you, it comes in this packaging. It's a bl Irish blessing plate. So there are numerous Irish blessings, but um, I was looking for some items that have the traditional Irish blessing. 
So this is one of them. I'll have this on display in my house. And then, so this Irish blushing is one that's more traditional that maybe you've heard before. And it says, may the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the rain fall soft upon your fields and the sunshine warm upon your face until we meet again. So I grew up with different items like this in homes that I grew up in. So I'm excited to have my own for my own house. So I have another item here. These are Irish mugs. So I will open that up and show you what that looks like. So it also comes with like the authenticity. So this was made in Ireland, um, the fine china. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And so it also gives you a recipe in here for Irish coffee. So that's something that if you're not familiar, Irish coffee has whiskey in it, has coffee, um, brown sugar and whipped cream typically. So it has a recipe for that because these are more of like an Irish coffee mug. So I'll show you what I mean by that. There's a lot of wrapping in here so that I don't break it on my transport over to my new house. So this is what they look like. I have a set of two, but yes, you can see in a lot of Irish restaurants that serve Irish coffee, they are a smaller, typically a smaller glass or a smaller cup. So I'm just gonna show you this one. I'm not gonna unpack the other one, but you get the general idea. The last item that I bought from that Irish gift shop was um, the Flags of Ireland and it's a Celtic cross Irish flag. I plan to hang this in my house um, over my light panels, my electric panel, uh, just so that you don't see those. So those were the items that I picked up from the Irish gift shop over in St. Augustine. But I also went to an Irish pub there. It's not terribly far from that shop. It's called Meehan's Irish Pub. I know there's a few different locations in Northeast Florida. So I went to the one in St. Augustine and I picked up a shirt there. So this is what it looks like on the front. It's long sleeve, black, and it's Meehan's Irish Pub. So the next items that I bought, I bought from a place called Faux Paw. And so it's kind of a dog store, dog accessory store. So I'm gonna show you the items from there. It's also in St. Augustine and that's on St. George Street if you ever go to visit. So the first two items that I bought um, were kind of little hangers. So I plan to put these on my wall and then I will hang their little harness and leash from that. And so it does have their names on it, which is really fun that they had both of their names. So it says a spoiled rotten dog called Molly lives here and then a spoiled rotten dog named Murphy lives here. So that's my two dogs that I have also with very Irish names. Another item that I bought with their names on it says the same thing, but it's for Molly. It's for treats. Unfortunately, they didn't have one with Murphy's name on it, but I still wanted to get the one that says Molly. Another item that reminds me of Murphy I picked up was a little tumbler. And so it's just a black golden doodle and Murphy is a black golden doodle. So that's really fun. Also picked up a mat. And so I'm gonna use this in my garage that leads up to my house. And that just says, instead of all you need is love, kind of a play on the Beatles, it is all you need is dog. So that's kind of fun. And then lastly, because I bought a few different items there, they did give me one of their reusable bags and it says the best things in life are dogs and the ocean. So I thought that was really cute and it'll remind me of my trip to St. Augustine. So those are the items that I picked up in St. Augustine while I was there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my content. This is the last trip of 2023 and I'm excited to see where else we'll go in 2024. So if you have any suggestions of where I should visit next, make sure to comment that down below. I'm also really excited for this new year because now I'm gonna be uploading a lot of moving content and decorating my home. Lots of fun there. So make sure you stick around for my next couple of videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.